Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am in a crazy mood right now. You're just, as the video goes on, you're gonna see that I'm just like, I don't even know. But today I used the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. Ew, I hate snuffling. Um, this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, and I did this look, looks like every other look that I ever do in my entire life, because all I do is neutral kind of eyeshadow, but yeah, look at these lashes, like, you can't even say that those are not pretty. Ardell Wispies, the best. Um, but yeah, if you want to see how I did this, and, oh. And see how I progress into the crackhead that I am. I really gotta stop saying that. People are gonna think I'm like actually like. Like that I actually do drugs with that. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Um, if you wanna see how I did this, keep on watching. Like this video. Is that what people say? Me and my weird thumbs. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye. <laughs> Start on my eyes today. So I already. Did my brows and carved them out. Um, I used the CoverGirl concealer to do that. And then I set my eyelids with translucent powder. Um, now I'm gonna go in with the palette. This is the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. Um, mine's a little dirty, but this is what it looks like on the inside. It's so pretty, it's a bunch of neutrals. Um, today we're gonna do more of like a neutral to cool tone. I want to use this dusty rose shade here. I'm just going to start. I'm going to take the brush it comes with and I'm going to take the fluffy end right here and the shade burnt orange. Um, it's not like the name is kind of deceiving. You would think it would be more orangey, but it's not. Um, and I'm just going to run that in my crease as a nice transition shade. And I'm also going to bring it on to the outer half of my eye. Mainly focusing it on this outer portion here, but also bringing it in towards the inner corner. And that blended really nicely. Now I'm going to take the Morphe M433 brush and I'm going to take the shade Dusty Rose right here. And... I'm gonna bring that further in on this outer corner and then I'm also gonna bring it into this crease. Blending it into that burnt orange shade. I'm gonna go back in with that first brush but no additional color and just kinda blend those edges a little bit more. Cause I want a soft edge. I say that now and then it's gonna be like so heavy on the outer corner, but whatever. I'm gonna take the Morphe M431, it's a pencil brush, and I'm gonna take the shade Mulberry right down here. It's like a burgundy moon color. It kinda matches my shirt. Actually, no, my, my shirt's coming out more red on camera, but in person, it's like a burgundy. Um, and I'm really gonna focus it on this outer corner just tapping it and blending it in to this outer V. I'm gonna take that brush we used with Dusty Rose and just blend that out so it's not as harsh. Now I'm gonna take the Morphe M321 brush and the shade Sienna right here a bit warmer than burnt orange and I'm just gonna use that to help blend out that mulberry shade I want to focus most of the color um, on the outer part of my eye and keep this part kind of empty because we're gonna add a shimmery shade later 
going back in with the brush that we used for Dusty Rose and blending that. Now we're going to take the Morphe M433. Um, it's a different one that I used from before. But I'm going to take it with the shade Rustic right here. Very lightly because I just want to blend the edges up here with that. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit of Dusty Rose on the original M433 we used and blend those edges out. Move on to the face a little bit. So I'm just cleaning up the edges with a makeup wipe. I'm going to tap out the edges with my finger so they're not as harsh. And now um, I'm going to move on to the face. So I'm going to take the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion and apply that everywhere. Then I'm going to take the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and apply that to my T-zone. I love this primer. And I like applying this primer especially with my fingers because I feel like the warmth from your hands like kind of melts the product into the face as opposed to like using a brush to apply it. Um, so yeah, now we're going to move on to foundation. I'm going to take the Too Faced Born This Way and yeah, I'm just going to take one pump on the back of my hand and dot it on my face. I'm going to blend that with my sponge. And then to cover any spots I don't want to show up, I'm going to take my Catrice concealer. And just dot that. And then to brighten under my eyes, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Concealer. I'm just going to use a little bit. Put a dot to the center of my forehead. Now I'm just going to set my under eyes with this Real Technique setting brush and my Wet n Wild Loose Powder. I'm gonna just tap out those creases. I'm also gonna set my nose. My smile lines. The center of my forehead. I'm using this small brush to really like concentrate the powder and then I'm gonna take the e.l.f. 107 brush and just very lightly dust that everywhere else. I'm just taking my Bare Minerals powder and putting this on my spots that I want to cover. Now I'm going to contour. Today I'm going to use the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, but um, I want to use a fan brush to contour. This is the Royal and Langnickel fan brush. Um, 
I've used the fan brush to contour before and I like the way it comes out. I'm taking this shade right here. Um, it just creates a sharp line. Like, I don't know why I'm, I don't do this more often. Because it just puts the line like right where you want it. And it's a little bit more subtle. Like the blending of it. I don't know. I just like the way it looks. Um, so yeah. I don't really use fan brushes that much. Like even for highlight. I've never really used it them that much. But they're good. I don't know why I don't. Just contouring my forehead to make it look smaller because I have the world's biggest forehead. I'm gonna add that to my jawline. Like this is again so good for your jawline too. You can even use it on your nose. It's not gonna be as um, precise as it normally would be but it still adds a little bit. I'm going to add some under my lip too to create a shadow to make it look a little bigger. I'm actually just going to take this shade in the palette and this just like Morphe angled brush. And I'm going to use that to bronze. I'm going to take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and just bronze the sides of my nose a little bit. Even though we didn't really contour that heavy, I want to add a little more warmth. I'm going to connect that to my eyeshadow there. I'm just going to take this Morphe E48 brush with nothing on it and just blend out the bronzer a little bit. I like the way this looks, like I feel like I don't have to clean it up, but I am gonna bake along my nose a little bit just because I like my nose to look structured more. So I am gonna bake there. While that's baking gonna finish the eyes so I'm gonna go back in with the palette and the fluffy end of the brush that it comes with and take burnt orange and just run that under my eye connecting it to the shadow out here I'm gonna take um the Morphe M431, the brush we used with the mulberry shade. And I'm just going to add that to the outer half of my eye and then connect it out here. I'm going to blend that out with the burnt orange. And then I'm going to take the Morphe M. 321 brush. It's the one we use with Sienna. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that to my lower lash line as well. Mainly on the outer half. So I want to keep that intensity on the outer part. And now we have kind of this like empty space on my lid and I want to take the Morphe M124 brush it's just like a flat packer brush and I'm going to take the shades Sultry and Rose Pink um, I'm going to go in with Sultry first I'm going to spray that with my Morphe setting spray and I'm going to apply that right where the matte shadows kind of ended. So kind of on the middle of my 
lid. Just packing that on. Um, now I'm going to take the same brush, but on the other end, and I'm going to take rose pink, that other shimmery shade. I'm going to spray that as well. And I'm going to put that on the inner part of my lid and just blend those two together. I brighten the inner corner and the brow bone up. So I'm going to take the ColourPop E10 brush and the shade Tempura. It's just like a creamy base shade. And I'm going to put that on the inner corner. And we all know that I'm going to add a shimmery color later, but for now, I'm just going to help brighten a little bit. Now I want to um, just brighten under my eye a little. I'm going to take this e.l.f. blush brush and this shade right here in my contour palette and just pat that under my eyes a little bit. Just to brighten. Take the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner and I'm going to add a wing. I'm gonna go do that. Um, I start, I'm, I think I'm gonna make a whole video on how I do my wings, but a little more in depth in that, I think. But for now, I'll just show you kind of how I do it. So I don't know why I hold it. I think because it's like a mini eyeliner, I'm holding it weird, I don't know. But I start on the outer part. Can you even see what I'm doing? I don't know. Um, I start on the outer part and I make a line there and then I follow um, they kind of wear the lower lash line kind of like would extend out and I try to like shape my eyeshadow that way too and I just draw the line and then Like that, and then I just kind of connect it. And drag it in. And I like my edge, like the end of my wing, to be really sharp. But I'm reaching the end of this eyeliner, and it's not helping me. And then I just like continue to bring it in. Um, if I wasn't doing fake, I think I'm gonna do fake lashes today. So if I wasn't doing that, I would kind of just like thin it out sooner and I wouldn't really have any liner in my inner corner, but to help hide the lash band, I like to bring it all the way in. Even though the lashes I use don't really, um, they have a thin band, so I don't really have to worry about that. I did a really bad job at explaining that, but I'll explain it better in the video. Also, that's a little bit thick. I did not want it that thick, but you know what? Sometimes that's just what happens. Um, a tip I have for doing your liner is to do the eye that you're not as good at first. When did that get there? I didn't put that there. Like, I don't know why that happened. That's cool. Alright, I'm just going to dust this nose ache. Off now. I don't know why that happened. That was so weird. Okay. Um, well, anyway, my tip for eyeliner is to do the eye that you're not as good at first because instead of doing your good eye first and getting it like perfect exactly how you want and then trying to match it on your bad eye, that's so much harder. So you can just do your bad eye first and try to get it the best you can. And then on your good eye, you can do it because you're actually good at that eye. You know, does that make sense?
Okay, anyway, my eyeliner is really thick today. Um, so, that's just what we're dealing with. I'm going to do lashes, so I'm going to curl them. Um, this is a Tarte eyelash curler. And I'm going to apply a little bit of the Thrive Cosmetics mascara, and then I'm going to apply fake ones. Because I haven't worn them in a while. And I'm in the mood. I need to fix this eyeliner. I'm going to take my L'Oreal eyeliner, the black one. And put that in my tight line. Oh. I don't know how that happened. That's interesting. I don't know, why is everything going wrong for me? Okay, well that's cool. What the heck? That was not very nice. Okay. Anyway, now I can apply a little bit of mascara. Okay, now I'm going to take the Ardell Wispies um, 700. I already have these cut to fit my eye. So, I'm just going to take them and apply my glue. Ooh. I love these lashes. I'm in a weird mood today. Just putting it out there. Okay, so I added some mascara to my lower lashes and also um, my upper lashes to blend them in. I'm just going to let them sit for a little and I'm going to press them together so that my real ones blend with my fake ones. Um, yeah, I like the way this looks. Um, what do I want to do? My shirt is like kind of weird. Let's talk about it for a second. It's like this high neck and it's like balloon sleeves. I can't tell if I like it or not. Online it looked really cute. It's from Shein. I mean, it's comfortable. It's good quality. Maybe I do recommend it. I don't know. Anyway. Um gonna do blush i'm gonna take my patrick ta blush because i use nothing else that's a lie but it's like all i use and this brush that i've been using in like every single video and i'm just gonna add that and i don't want um a lot of highlight today at least on my face maybe on like my nose and like my inner corner and stuff but I really want just like a lot of blush and make it look like I was like standing outside in the cold or I'm like sick. I don't know why, but I like that look. Like, you know, when your nose is like all red and like, I don't know. Do I sound crazy? I think I'm crazy, so that's probably why. Um, I'm going to take my Benefit Dandelion Twinkle that I always use because I love it. And it's like subtle, but you could also see it at the same time. I don't know. I really like it. I want to try the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. It's supposed to be like this highlight on steroids. So like when I'm looking for a stronger highlight, that would be like perfect for me. But I need to get it. Um... I really like the way this looks. I'm really liking this palette. This little tiny brush. And put that on my nose. Like, no, like, how cute is that? You can't even say you don't like nose highlight. If you are, you're lying to yourself. Because it's so pretty. Adding that to my inner corner. And then to my inner corner, I'm going to take this ColourPop highlight, like glitter. Do you hear my brother singing? Nope. If I leave that in and he finds out, 
he might be a little angry at me, but that's what he gets for singing while I'm doing this. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. I'm just gonna take my sponge and blend that out. Um, I'm just gonna pinch these lashes together and then push them upward. First, I'm gonna take my brow gel and set these brows in place. I don't want them moving everywhere. My stomach just made a really funky noise. I don't know what that was. Um, okay. Lips. Lip, lip, lip. What do I want to do? I think I'm going to take the KKW Beauty um, lip liner. It's in the shade Nude 1.5. Her lip liners. So good. And I like to fill my lips in with my lip liner. Oh my god. I really hope you can hear him playing this music right now. Okay, I had him lower that because that was just so loud. Anyway, I'm going to go in some more KKW Beauty. Um, it's her lipstick in the shade 1.5. Um, I think it's her cream formula, like it's not matte, like it has a little bit of movement to it, like this is very matte. Um, I like the way this look looks, but I want to make it a little lighter. So, I'm just adding that. This isn't really the tone I'm going for. I don't think I even know what tone I'm going for. I'm going to add this NARS thing, because... It always seems to save it. Yeah. I like the way that looks. Need setting spray. Just forgot. I could spray setting spray on my face. Like, realistically for five minutes straight and I'm not even being dramatic. I love setting spray. I like it to look like my face is drenched in setting spray. Um, I just feel like it really just ties everything together. It makes the powderiness of your makeup not look as powdery. It's just amazing. So, yeah. Um... You can really just hear my brother's music. My eyes look blue. Okay. So yeah. Um, I feel missing because my necklace like isn't out, but that just looks weird. I'm like not myself without my necklace. I haven't taken it off in like I don't even remember the last time. Okay, I'm just like talking now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really like this makeup look, and I made the decision. I do like this shirt. I've made that decision um so yeah this palette go buy it i mean it's not new but it's new to me so i really recommend it i'm gonna use it more um i want to use this orange soda color and i really like the dusty rose color i don't know i just really like it so i just dug my finger in the black so that's always fun um I don't know why, but I want more blush. Okay, I need to stop. I need to stop. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eat at my grandma's house because that's where I'm going for dinner. So, yeah. Okay, I need to stop. I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah. How did I get lipstick over there? Okay, well, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Oh my god, I'm like acting like a crack.